How's it going everybody? This is Ruby, and this is episode 108 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bedrock Breaker from Rotary Craft. So this machine has no user interface, this is simply a uh, interactable object with the world. Uh, the only time you can actually interact with this machine is to collect bedrock dust from it once you break down some bedrock. But we'll cover that here in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for this. It's going to be three base panels, two diamonds, an HSLA steel ingot, and then three obsidian. And you do have to make that within the work table. You can't do that in a regular crafting menu. Now this machine really doesn't have any automation, um, I guess, ways. You could you could automate this, uh, like maybe using like frames and stuff, but I don't even know if that's in a uh, new mod pack anymore or not. So uh, here's kind of the basic power setup. Uh, is that this guy needs a bunch of torque. He needs 8,192, I believe. So here I have a resonant energy cell. I have a magnetostatic engine. I have a CBT unit with torque as the, uh, I guess, as the main ratio. And then the bedrock breaker itself. So uh, if we go ahead and turn this guy on, you can see it's going to start spinning. And if we go ahead and give ourselves some bedrock, this guy will go up to four blocks ahead of it. So it'll go one, two, three, and four, and it'll get down to here. So uh, now the weird thing about this animation is the way it's facing it, you'd think it would uh, start caving away at the block this way, but it actually does it from the top down. If we give it a second, it'll actually grind a piece out, and you can tell when it doesn't start to line up with uh, the other textures. Like you could look on this block, or you could look on the bedrock next to it. Um, and you'd be able to tell that it's different. Uh, also, this machine will not break through the last bedrock in the world, like layer zero. So you don't have to worry about falling out of the world or anything crazy like that. Uh, but yeah, now you can see that it's now about a pixel down. Uh, you can definitely see it if you look at the sandstone back here. You can see the difference. But uh, this does take a little while. So uh, if we just give it a moment, it'll break down this whole piece of bedrock. All right, so now that it's fully uh, broken down a whole piece of bedrock, we can go ahead and we can right click the bedrock breaker and we'll actually get some bedrock dust and as you can see we can get two bedrock dust uh, per piece of bedrock that we break and if we take a look at some of the recipes it can be used in all kinds of things like the bedrock shafts uh, and the different types of coils and you can actually even make a piece of bedrock or what you could always do is get make it into a bedrock ingot like you can see here and this is what you actually use to make the bed bedrock tools as well as armor that is going to be it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions about this machine, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, our rating would be very much appreciated. And subscribe. As always, I have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.